Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. We are so excited to share this morning motivational message with you all. The topic of today's video is trusting God for our provision, trusting that He will meet all of our needs according to His riches in glory. Before we dive into the message, I want to take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you now asking that you would open our hearts and minds to receive from you. Help us to set aside any worries or distractions so that we can be fully present and soak in all that you have for us today. Speak to us through your word. Convict and encourage us by your spirit and leave us changed. Oh God, for having spent this time with you. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, friends, let's get started. There are so many verses in the Bible that remind us of God's faithfulness when it comes to meeting our needs. One of the most well-known is Philippians 4 verse 19, which says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. What an amazing promise. Our God pledges to meet every single one of our needs but when times are tough financially or provision seems scarce, putting our trust fully in this promise can be a major test of faith. I think it's important to clarify what God means when he talks about meeting our needs. He isn't promising to give us everything we want. There's a difference between needs and wants. Needs are the basic necessities of life. Things like food, shelter, clothing. Wants are extras, luxuries, or non-essentials. So, when God says He will supply all our needs, He isn't saying He'll make us rich or shower us with anything our hearts desire. His provision will be perfect for sustaining our lives, but it may not look like overflowing abundance by the world's standards. We also have to consider God's timing. He doesn't always provide instantly. Provision is often a process that unfolds gradually, step by step, as we walk by faith daily. There were plenty of times in the Bible where God's people had to wait patiently in wanting situations, trusting that God would come through for them when the time was right. Think of Joseph in prison for years or the Israelites wandering in the wilderness. God is never late, but he also doesn't always hurry. His timing is perfect, even if the waiting period seems long to us. So when we face times of financial lack or uncertainty about basic provisions, what is God calling us to do? The answer is to keep trusting. Trust that even though you don't see how it will happen right now, God still has you and He still cares. Trust that His resources are greater than any circumstance could ever be. Trust that He who fed the multitudes with just a few loaves and fish can do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think according to His power that is at work within you. Ephesians 3 verse 20. It's in the tough times that our trust in God's faithfulness and goodness really gets stretched and strengthened. When everything looks bleak, hold on tighter to the promise that he who did not spare his own son will also graciously give us all things with him. Romans 8 verse 32. Keep reminding yourself that your heavenly father knows exactly what you need today, this week, this month, even if you're still unsure. His provision may come in ways you don't expect through people you've never met. But come, it will, as surely as the sun rises each morning. Now, I want to share a short passage from my journal during a season when my own family was facing financial uncertainty. Lord, I don't know how you're going to provide for all our needs this month, but I'm clinging to your promises. You said in your word that if we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, all these things will be added to us as well. So I'm doing my best to focus on you, to spend time in prayer, to read your word daily for strength and wisdom, to trust you wholeheartedly, regardless of what my circumstances look like right now. Please help me not to be moved by what I see with my natural eyes, but to keep my eyes fixed on you, the author and perfecter of my faith my needs are in your hands. You know exactly what I require each day to get by, and I believe you for the ability and resources to meet it all according to your glorious riches. Thank you that my future and provision are secure in you. Friends, writing that passage was a real act of faith on my part. When my natural mind was tempted to worry and fret, I made the choice by the Spirit's power to trust God completely instead. And you know what? 
He proved himself faithful, just as he always does. Provision came through in amazing ways, more than enough for all our needs that month and beyond. My family was taken care of, and our trust in God's faithfulness was deeply strengthened through it all. I share this story to encourage you that no matter what situation you find yourself in today, whether facing financial pressure, lack of basic resources, uncertainty about the future, God sees you and He cares. He has not forgotten your needs, and He has definitely not left you without the means to have them met. His word is true. He will and can supply all your needs out of the riches of His glory. But you have to take Him at His word. You have to choose to trust Him, even when you don't yet see the answer. This is a daily decision that deepens your intimacy with the Father and strengthens your faith in remarkable ways. So before you start your day, I encourage you to pause, reflect on all God's goodness, and recommit your needs over to Him through prayer. Tell Him you're choosing today to trust that He will carry you through and meet your every requirement, whether large or small, significant or seemingly insignificant. Thank Him in advance for the divine provision that is already on its way according to His perfect will and timing. Ask Him to help you stand steadfast and immovable in that assurance all through your day. Here is a prayer you can pray to close our time together. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day you've given me as your child. I praise you that you are good and that your mercy and faithfulness extend to every generation. Today I bring my needs before you once again, my need for daily bread, for health and strength, for finances to cover my obligations, for peace of mind and spirit, for your wisdom and guidance as I walk this day. Father, I declare by faith that you will meet all of these needs and so much more out of the overflowing riches of your glory. I release my worries and trust fully in your provision, which is coming right on time according to your perfect will. Thank you for your care, your provision, your consistent faithfulness. I pray you would help me walk securely and confidently today not leaning on my own understanding, but acknowledging you in all my ways so that you can direct my paths. I look to you as my provider and my very present help in this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, I hope this message has ministered to you and encouraged your trust in God as your Jehovah, your provider. Please feel free to leave a comment below sharing how God has met your needs in the past or is meeting them right now. Your testimonies will inspire and bless others. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future motivational videos. Have an absolutely divine day walking by faith in God's provision. Until next time.